Da 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 Lucky! Fresh off the airplane, probably. Maybe boat. I got here too fast. Probably airplane. Uh, this is going to be my home light XL76 from Kevin up in Alberta. I also got this too. Let's open this real quick. Where's my knife thingy? Scissors it is. Louie done pissed on it. Louie dog. Yeah, I'm talking about you. He did it right in front of me too. I saw him doing it. I was hollering at him, stop it, stop it. But you know, once you get the flow going, hard to stop it. So he pissed all over the box. <laughs> this right here, This right here is a reed valve setup like Charlie's been using. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Nice little reed valve setup. Don't know how well you can see that, but you know, whatever. Don't know exactly what this is going to go on yet, but it's going to go on something. I'm going to give it a shot too. Looks looks like too much fun. I can't let uh, can't let Charlie have all the fun. You know what I mean? So we'll get that set up on something in the future. I'm not sure what. I tell you what I want to put it on is I want to put it on my Poland 4000, but. I'm a scared because those 4,000 cylinders are really hard to come by. If there's anybody watching this and you've got a 4,000 cylinder that you wouldn't mind letting go, consider it charity to the channel that you like so much. <laughs> um, these right here, this XL76, I've been wanting one of these for a while. Um, now, but down here, they just, you know, they don't really come about very often at all. And well, uh, I guess it's the same thing for old Kevin and the Polands up, up in Alberta, Canada. He'd been wanting one of those, and so we did a swap. Mailed his uh, 330 off yesterday box is beat to piss I hope hope it ain't broken in any anywhere Yeah, you guys do it too. Look at this, buddy. This is so cool. And, you know, the reason why I've been wanting one of these specifically, well, they're, they're kind of known to be Home Light's little hot rod saw. Like, they were Home Light's 357 XP. Dang, that's nice. Man, that looks cool. But, uh, yeah, the reason I've been wanting one of these is simple. It, it, it literally, it's because they look so cool. And that's really about it. Boy, it's, it's smaller than you think, guys. Man, it's got a cool dog on it. Um, I guess Kevin said he made that. It's in real good, clean shape, man. Really, 
This is cool. I can't wait to run this thing. He says that uh, pretty much you know, minor modifications might be needed, you know, but um, but uh, uh, small husky, a small husky bar should mount on it. Um, I have no reason to disbelieve that. Oh man, you, you put the chain oil, chain oil goes back here. That's odd. I ain't never seen that before. Jeez. I, I, I'll say right off the bat, that's dumb because you got to turn it up like this to put, what if you got a bar on there? You'd be standing up putting the oil in, but, oh well. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm going to grab a, uh, small husky bar real quick and and just just see what it looks like boy it is a big clutch he said it was a big old clutch that they had on there be right back <clears throat> small mountain husky right here Boom, right on. Now, see if the oiler hole lines up. I'll be damned, it does. Lines right up. I mean, I might want to elongate it a little bit, just a little bit, maybe. Y'all let me know your thoughts on that. Should I elongate that little hole, the oiler hole, for it to fit better? I mean, looks like I might be able to get away with not doing it at all, but I mean, I, I do want it to oil well, so. I definitely ain't gonna run this little 325 bar, but. Uh, yeah, it does, it does appear that it's a husky smallmouth. Dang, it even goes into the adjuster hole, too. Hot dang. That's going to be cool. That's going to be very cool. Got good compression. All right. Well, uh, we'll, we'll treat this as just a mail call video. And uh, I'll get a nice bar and chain worked out for it. And we'll have a video of it cutting. Yeah, they just look so dang cool. And, and, and to this point right here, um, it's always been the Yonce Red 49 SP. I've always considered like just the best looking chainsaw. It just looks great, glorious. It's a good looking chainsaw. But... <laughs> This right here might be changing my mind. <laughs> it looks so much bigger on the YouTube channels I've seen it in. This is a small saw. You know, it's not big at all. This is a small, lightweight saw. Really small. <laughs> Serious. I mean, the Max, the 1010s, they were small too. Uh, I was surprised by them as well. Bucking must be a little guy. I don't know. Or at least not. Dub had mentioned it uh, on one of my videos or something or messaged me. He said, you must be awfully tall. You make those saws look little. And I, I just never really even thought of it before. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm about 6'2". Uh, 
205 now. Ever since I quit drinking, <laughs> I was I, I was up getting close to about 220, getting a little bit fat. But um, yeah, that's gonna be great. Let's throw some gas in and see if she'll fire up. Okay, before we go cut, I want to show you the chain that I put on this thing. So this is a very old Oregon 3H chain. You can see it does have the double double rakers, so it's like a semi-safety chain, but it's a full chisel chain. This is brand new, all right? It's never been sharpened before. This is the way they used to come out of the box. This is why older gentlemen tell everybody all the time don't cut with a uh, chain fresh out of the box it's sharper if you if you sharpen it real quick that's because look at that gullet i mean it just doesn't even exist it's terrible this is a modern chain let me see if i can get this lined up look at the difference of those cutters look at that Modern, old school. Now I have these chains because I actually had an estate sale, picked up a whole, whole bunch, like hundreds of chains probably. And um, I don't have time right now to get in the gullet right there and sharpen that thing up. Um, so I'm just gonna run it as it is for now. And I don't care if it cuts a little bit slow. I, I, I don't care, but um, it will probably barely cut this oak. I'm saying, I'm saying it is it, it, it bad. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that that's the the reason why the older guys are like, as soon as I put that thing on, brand new chain, I sharpen it. You know, that's why they were crap. Nowadays, we got good chains right out of the box. It's good. All right, let's get to cutting. Safety first.
Okay, so clearly uh, it's still recording, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so clearly uh, some tuning and everything I got to do, uh, but uh, that's to be expected. I don't want to bore you guys with that. The next thing, next time you see this saw, should be running nice and sweet and everything. And my initial thoughts of it, power-wise, uh, I think it's got more power than the Poland 245, you know, and that's 74 cc's. It's still a tractor, you know, but for, for this vintage and this t type of saw, it does have nice RPMs, you know, it, it does. Let me see, get a, maybe I can get one more cut. clutch might be might need some attention seems like maybe the clutch springs are a little too weak because if it's running good there you can see it you know it's running real nice uh, so the, it's running doesn't seem to be a problem but at low idle it's still keeping that uh, clutch engaged I'm not worried about it I'm happy as can be but uh, yeah it's cool I, so far to date, that's the best running old horizontal saw that I've messed with. Serious. I had some uh, Promac uh, 610 and 650, but I could never get those things to run. So I, I, I never, I never got a chance. Uh, Pulse good. It's got good torque. You can see, I, you know, it, it's good. I like it. I'm happy. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing running slick and actually actually working it for, you know, a couple hours or something. That's really fun. I like the saw. I love it. All right. Now for sure. See ya.